everybody, I'm Elizabeth, and this is my mom, Karen, from Sandy's Fabrics and Machines in Kenwick, Washington. We're here with Miss Angela and Tina, and we're excited to show you guys this machine. Look at this hoop, right? She fits in it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I embroidered my sleeves in this. Ooh, wow, wow. Oh, Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Uh, I know, there's so much that's done. <laughs> so, would you like to hear, Tina and I were kind of playing on the machines four of our favorite features. I mean, there's a ton yes. in here, but our would love favorite. to. Okay, so how many photos are on your phone? <laughs> Too many. You win so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know how you open them up, you scroll through some of the filters, and maybe print them out, mm -hmm. maybe put them on Instagram, whatever. Well, now you can do it in the machine and turn it into embroidery. Tina, show your customers how this works. All right, this is called Picture Play, and it is magic. So I have a beautiful picture of a rose on the screen right now, and you can bring that in wirelessly or through USB. And I can change the size. I've got all kinds of size change options here. I can remove the background. I even have cropping tools. So let's come in and say, maybe I want to round out the corners. And let's go ahead and crop it a little bit here. So get that adjusted just the way you like it. And we'll say, okay. But the real magic happens when I press next. Because we have 11 different style options for how to turn your, your images into embroidery designs. So we have original, we have some very artistic options. We have some that look like pencil sketches, cartoons. We even have one over here that looks like a stained glass window, which is wild, isn't it? So think about all the creative opportunities your customers are gonna have to turn their pictures into embroidery designs. So exciting. And we stitched one of these out. So that here's the rose in the Art Nouveau wow, style. Gorgeous. Isn't that incredible? I love it. I love that so much. So what do you guys think you'll do first with picture play? All of it. <laughs> I mean, you don't all have to a picture of my kids. All the pictures. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't stop, can't stop. Good deal. It's beautiful. This is going to be so much fun. All right, let's head to the sewing side. Do you have quilters? Absolutely. Oh, of maybe. Yep. Just a few. One or two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is pretty cool. Okay, so this is the stitch regulator, and I have two feet here, so you only get one with the machine, but I thought it'd be easier for you guys to see. So we still have our move it foot that plugs into the back, which is fantastic. And now the stitch regulator, which plugs into the back. You're catching on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to change the feet. It comes with three of them. Open toe. I love the open toe for, for, for when I do a lot of my free motion. So, and then also, Look at how easy that comes off and on. The echo. And you don't even have to take the foot off if you want to change, interact with these, you know, while you're working on oh, this. That's sweet. Yeah, so come on over here. You got three. The first one, the word that I still can't say, intermittent. <laughs> Straight <laughs> stitch, zigzag. Uh, you have a continuous. You have a basting. All of that. And you can make change all these settings. You can change this, which will make that foot go higher and lower in case you're doing a really thick quilt. Everyone says they're talking about doing wool on theirs. That would be pretty thick. Okay, so those changes too. But there's more. So come up here and let's click on this icon here. Call my laser light. And you have all of these settings here that you can use. And just look at this screen here and then look at what shows up here. Those are straight lines. Now when I go under the sub area, this is really cool. We got a new one. This is the echo. And when I click that, look what happens. What? Yeah, so. No way. Right, isn't that great? And then I can even make it bigger. So if I hit it a couple times, let's see what size we can get it to. Look at that. I mean, bigger is better. Bigger is right. better. Yeah. yeah, that's what this whole machine is about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, while I'm over there, let me just show you a few new icons. This one reminds me of my plaid jacket. And then we have a different angles. So on the angle screen, uh, I forgot to show you this one here. Look at all the different colors we can choose. So depending on your fabric color, whichever one shows up better. So now we have pink. And then let's go back to the angles here. When I click on angle and click here, look at all of these different ones to choose from. So I'm gonna pick this one. It's kind of cool. And look at, it goes two inches behind the needle. Behind the needle. That's crazy. That okay, so awesome. do you know why that does that? Trick question here. Why? <laughs> so Elizabeth, the, it does that because the projector now is five by eight. 
I keep wanting to say five by seven because it's picture frame. <laughs> five, five by eight. eight. Yes. Five yes. by eight. That's Tina, huge. why don't you serve them some ice cream? <laughs> All right, so so let's look at our beautiful ice cream cone design. And I'm on the embroidery edit screen, so this is, remember, where we resize and rotate. But now I can access the projector here. That's magic, right? So let's go ahead and select our projector. Wait till you see it. It's so huge. It's, it's amazing when you see it. Oh wow. my gosh, <laughs> look at that. It's ginormous. I love the blue background. That yeah, is doesn't it pop? Sweet. Love that. But it gets even better because with the stylus, I can actually edit my design right here on the fabric that's in my hoop, right? So I can, if I wanted to move it, I can come in here and move my design. Did you see that? How yeah. I'm moving it? I can also rotate and I can resize it right here on the fabric. No way. No, you right. don't have to exit no anymore way. and do it and then come back. It's all here. Right. Exactly. Yep. When so it would pause sweet. and you'd uh -huh. have to go back. Yep. Nope, not anymore. It's incredible. You can even move where your tools are. So right now they're on the left hand side. But let's say I wanted it at the bottom of the screen so I can see a little bit more. Look at that. Now it's at the bottom of my screen. So I can move it wherever I want. And when you're done, you can even uh, close the tools out. But wait till you see this. Remember Angela told you a minute ago, 16 different colors for your lines? Yes. Well, now we have 16 different colors for the background because, you know, things show up differently on different colored fabrics, right? So let's let's go in and see how the backgrounds work in embroidery. So we're on blue now. Let's see what it looks like on a hot pink. Oh nice. my gosh, cool. look at that. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's my choice. Isn't that yeah, incredible? Yeah. <laughs> I like, I'm a pink girl. I love that. Way cool. Awesome. So, should we add buttonholes to that ice cream cone? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, how do you like sewing buttonholes? I mean, it depends on the day and what I got going on, right? Because <laughs> it's a process. This is always the trick question. Okay, so I'm moving my hoop so I don't step on it. Okay, so this is the trick question. On here, buttonholes. A lot of people, the first one, okay, great. Second one, oh, maybe right. not so much. So there's two different cool features on here. I mean, they're really not separate. They go together. But you see that buttonhole there? Mm -hmm. Now you can see the buttonhole right on your fabric. You know what it's going to look like. So we've got a ton of different designs. So let me just pick a different cool keyhole one. That's one I use for jeans quite often and jackets. You've got this whole setting here. So now you can use your stylus to click and change your buttonhole right there. And it shows up right here. Cool. So let me just show you this real quick because there's so much. I'm just going to give you a quick preview. Make it bigger. Look right there. Wow. Just by moving this. I didn't even use my stylus. I just used this. So that's one thing. Now, most of the time, unless you're making jeans or a pair of pants, you probably have more than one buttonhole to do. Mm -hmm. Lining them up is, I just chalk the heck out of it, right. and then I got to rub it off. Not and then say a little prayer and hope it all goes up. Well. Yeah, yeah, maybe two prayers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then on here, when I go here, if I click on this icon here, this is my placement. Look at all the settings we have. So number one, choose if you want to line your buttons up and down, vertical or horizontal. Okay, those are your two. You still have, the embroidery you can hear that machine talk? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> You've got all these settings here, 16 of them. Uh, I love that. So you can pick different colors. So let me just show you what this line looks like. When I come back over here, do you see this guideline that's showing up? Mm -hmm. This would be where you would line your fabric up right with that guideline. Put this down. And look, now you have the settings where after you do that buttonhole, it will show you exactly where to move your foot to do the next one. Cool. So, so it's calculated, all it's the, done, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and you tell it where you how much how far you want to part you want to. Yeah. And then just say you want it to go vertical, the other one, then all of a sudden that guideline goes here. And then you would move your fabric up here and it does the same exact thing where you can do those buttonholes so buttonholes I think people are gonna want to do them just to see how straight they can get yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's now a challenge yeah now it's a challenge <laughs> we might put them on our bags instead of a snap now. maybe I'm ready maybe. with the straightest yeah. buttonholes wins yes, yes. 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 the straightest and most yes I love that. Yeah. all right so Tina your machine made a lot of noises over there so was it, was it because of the new fonts or did it just make noise no it actually has voice guidance how what is his name well, that's up to you. So let's check that one out. What language do you want? Oh, yeah, we have no, I want to understand it, so. It might make it now. even better, right? <laughs> All right, so let's come into settings. And then we're going to go to page four. So here's where you can turn voice guidance on or off, right? So it's on right now. It's really helpful because 
you, that means you can be cutting something out and when it's time to put that new thread color on, the machine will say, it's time to change your thread color, right? That's awesome. So you can be two, doing a couple things at once. So let's come in here and change the language. So we're in English. Let's, let's play this one. Welcome and enjoy your journey of sewing, quilting, and embroidery. Awesome. Oh, thank you. Did you hear that? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? How about, how about a French-speaking man? So I was telling Tina earlier, I embroidered these in the larger hoop on this machine, and I forgot it was voice activated. I mean, I didn't even think about it. And I was in the other room, and it told me to change colors. And I was like, who is that? <laughs> it wasn't my husband. <laughs> So I told Tina I'm going to learn Italian and Espanol. There you go. Yeah. And for those of us who talk to ourselves in the sewing room, we now have somebody to talk to. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then why don't you just tell them really quickly about the font because yeah. now we have the font preview. So when you bring up your fonts, you know how um, inevitably every font you pick has that one letter that's kind of weird looking, mm -hmm. right? And you don't know it until you've typed out your whole thing. Well, now you can come in <laughs> with the new fonts or any of the ones that are on here. Select your font with the show preview button on. You can see every single character in that font before you even nice. start wow. typing out your message. That's awesome. Isn't that great? I love yeah. that. I love that so much. So what's your favorite feature? Honestly, for me, it's the the, the photo stitch or the, oh, the, the yeah. The, Picture play. Picture play. Yes. Yes. Picture yes. play. We got numbers. Um, but I think this laser light thing is incredible. Yeah. The fact that the lasers are longer and they go oh, behind, behind the foot. That's mm -hmm. huge. Yes. And all the angles that we have options with now. Oh yeah. yeah. So much like, fun. Yeah. So yeah. I did a master class for these. So anyone who buys them from you and registers your machine gets access to the master class. Yay! Oh, okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's so much. That's fun. a bonus like, you just don't buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like the right. luminaire, the stiletto. Yeah. Just like except this one has twenty one lessons because there was so much in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were gonna do fifty, but that would that'd be here for the next four years. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, great. So can they go to your store right now and make a deposit? Absolutely. Absolutely. Any day of the week. Well, except for Sunday. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. All right, Tony, call me on Sunday. They're waiting, waiting for you to yes. put your deposit in. Yes, <laughs> Tony and Rhonda. That sounds good. Well, happy sewing, everyone. This is exciting. Thank, Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. Yeah.